The district attorney is proposing a new plan today to try to combat the growing homelessness crisis. Now, the strategy is based off of two years of data, and it shows a staggering link between crime and those living on the streets. KUSI's Hunter Sowards is live for us in Kearney Mesa. And Hunter, I know a lot of people are wondering what makes this plan different from some of the previous ones. Yeah, Logan, that's exactly the question that I had myself. Of course, we have seen proposals put forth of changes that need to be made or maybe new implementations to approach this problem, but it only appears to be getting worse. So when we asked that of District Attorney Summer Steffen today, she said it's that two years of data that has been so closely studied, but it's also the community input from those who are experts in this, but also from those who are being directly impacted because this new data not only shows that those who are living on the streets are committing more crime, it also shows that they are more likely to be a victim of a crime, something that leaders here say has to change. Homelessness is not only a humanitarian and a human rights issue, but it is also becoming a public safety issue. The DA says crime data tracked over a two year period is the basis for a new plan to address the growing problem. The intersection between crime and homelessness is staggering. It shows crimes like aggravated assault and vandalism were over a hundred times more likely to be committed by someone living on the streets. This is something that our community has been talking about for a while that they are not feeling safe on our streets in in San Diego. So there's a few things I really want to emphasize about this. A presentation Monday breaking down the data and stepping through the county's new three tiered approach proposes a technology solution where our entire region brings every provider of shelter under one application and we're able to know in real time what shelter is available and if that shelter is suitable. A new app aims to use existing resources from law enforcement, mobile crisis teams and other advocacy groups. It calls for a new legal program, which they say will address root causes before criminalizing an individual. The choice is between being dealt with in the criminal justice system or avoiding that by accepting shelter and accepting treatment for substance abuse and mental health. But despite plan after plan in the past for residents who drive the streets of San Diego County, the problem only appears to be getting worse. Stefan says new data is what makes this plan different. Without data, you're not able to bring data-driven solutions that meet the moment. She says another important part to combating this issue, something that she is supporting to be changed as far as state law goes. She wants somebody to be held up to 72 hours involuntarily if they are found by a mental health practitioner to be needing treatment. Current state law says right now you can only do that if somebody is of danger to themselves or someone else. So this would give more resources to treating those root causes like we talked about here. But as Dan is going to show us later, the personal side of what it is a growing issue, how it is changing communities, and how this data is now showing not only is it changing communities, it's putting them at risk as well as those who are living on the streets at risk. A two-part problem with changes that District Attorney Summer Steffen says needs to happen now. We're reporting live tonight in Kearney Mesa, Hunter Sowards, KUSI News. Yeah, a lot of difficult issues associated with it. Uh, appreciate the live report, uh, Hunter Sowards for us. Hunter, thanks.